fish on trigger spoon junior in the pro color um that spoon is orange got a little bit of white on it got a little bit of yellow on it and of course has a chrome back um got a good amount of chop form in here and i'm fishing right off a of peninsula so the fish are kind of orienting to structure and uh, he really slammed that spoon let's see oh nice nice little rainbow just gonna lift him aboard here and uh, we will get him on his way just like that awesome jumped all over that trigger junior very cool just a little planted trout we'll get him back in the back in the water and on his way spinners or spoons that's the question or at least that's the question from tommy bix down in tracy california he had a couple questions for me first he wanted to know if i ever troll with inline spinners like this sonic rooster tail right here and the answer is absolutely yes and he also wanted to know what's the difference between a spinner and a spoon in terms of what they're imitating for the trout and honestly i think they both imitate bait fish but they're very different lures um first of all let me just say if you're going to troll with spinners you need to add a rudder to your line at the junction between your main line and your leader because they will twist your line they will turn your line into a twisted mess any rotating bait is going to twist your line so you know thank me later employ a rudder like that and you won't have all those problems with twist okay so how, well, how are they different how are they perceived differently by the trout and i'm out here trolling right now so i gotta gotta keep an eye open for logs and boats and whatnot um you know i think it comes down to flash and vibration obviously the the flash and vibration put out by these two lures this is a sonic rooster tail this is a trigger spoon junior is very different the flash and vibration that comes off of a spinner is caused by that you know that that rotating blade the faster you troll the higher the level of vibration and the more flash it puts off the slower you troll you know everything decreases so you got to kind of go out as i as i say with all lures you got to go out on the water you got to take the temperature of the fish maybe you're doing okay slow trolling is bump the speed up a couple tenths you know and and you might find that you do a lot better maybe the fish are more active they want more flash more vibration maybe you're putting out too much flash and vibration and you've got to slow down or maybe you even have to downsize your spinner because if you downsize your spinner guess what the blade is going to be smaller less flash less vibration and that can be critical if the fish are feeling shy now a spoon it gets its flash and vibration from its kick it kicks back and forth and and to some degree you can vary the amount of flash and vibration put off by a spoon by varying the speed but if you go too fast with this guess what it's going to start rolling through the water and that's not good so in terms of speed range spinners are more versatile than spoons but sometimes trout will hit a spoon over a spinner because they like that back and forth thump 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 vibration as opposed to the zzzz vibration put off by a spinner so again i keep saying it i sound like a broken record you need both of these offerings in your tackle box in a range of colors in a range of sizes you need to get out on the water you need to play with size speed take the temperature of the fish listen to what the fish tell you dial in your offerings accordingly and you're always going to be yelling fish on i hope that helps all you guys out there all you aspiring trollers and all you guys that are experienced sticks out on the water looking to get an edge anyway that's my perception on uh inline spinners and spoons and i don't think enough guys troll inline spinners they're effective when casted and retrieved they're very effective when trolled as well you can put these on your downrigger troll them down 80 feet deep at lake shasta and catch trout on them just like guys in trout streams catch trout on spinners every day of the season i'm kel kellogg i'll catch you next time right here on youtube thanks for all the support guys if you're looking for gear you know where to go fish hunt shoot.com thank you